Stop, outsider. The Great Khan will speak with you. Finally. Khan will inform you whether you'll be tolerated here. Go and talk to him. May Ravak accompany you on your path. I was told you wish to stay with us. I want to join you. <laughs> you must prove yourself. Everyone here contributes to the balance. You must work like everybody else. We don't tolerate parasites. Show that you will act in our interest. Contribute. What do you want me to do? My overseers will instruct you. Enough talking. Duty calls. May Ravok watch over you. You heard the Great Khan. Report to Tengis and Zarina. They will give you work. Who's Tengis? He is the Overseer. He decides who is allowed to trade. If you need food, gear, or a weapon, you will need his approval. You can find him in the Quartermaster's District. Ahead, near the cellar. Where can I find Zarina? At the Blood Shrine above, next to the entrance to the arena. Be cautious when you speak to her. She is not only a priestess, she punishes those who commit a crime. in a day. But Master Tangus, that's just not enough. Perhaps you'd rather eat nothing at all. Forgive me, Master I. Never question me again. Yes, praise be to Rava. And blessed be the balance, yeah, yeah. Go on, get out of here. May Oblivion find you, stranger. I see you've traveled a great distance to be here. What do you want? My approval? All I want is to be able to trade. And why should I let you do that? <laughs> An outsider. A non-believer. You won't get anything here without my say-so. Not a job, not a crumb of bread. No exceptions? You're an uninvited guest in our home. You'll have to give me a reason to help you. Khan said I should work for you if I wanted to stay. Really? Work for me? I am the master of steel. Whatever I want, I have made. And anything I lose, I can have found. Yes, I'd better be going then. Wait. Are you a man of war? Not at all. Lies. Don't play games with me. Now listen. You may have come here with good reason. To give meaning to your life, perhaps. To find a home. But you can't stay in the grotto without giving something in return. So, you'll do what we tell you to. And what does that mean? It means completing a job to my satisfaction. All right, we have an agreement. You're determined enough, I see. 
But keep in mind that once a decision has been made, it cannot be changed. This is our way. What is it you want me to do? A job I can't entrust to any Morcon. Why not? If I could, I would have done so already. I need you to find Ivan, one of our warriors. He should return as soon as possible. You can visit our merchants for equipment or anything else you might need for your journey. You can call off the search. What? Why? Simple. Ivan is... Shit. We'll continue this conversation later. I have to deal with someone else first. Come with me. You again. Master Tankus, I... Do you want to end up with a blood sister? Please, you have to understand. We need better armor. The tunnels... If Ravak decides to bury you under rubble, then so be it. Now get out of here. I have more important matters to attend to. I'm still waiting for that answer. So what do you want to tell me? It had something to do with your task. It's about Ivan. I'm listening. What do you want from him? You forget your place. I asked you a question and you still haven't answered. I'm getting to that. I hope so, for your sake. Now listen. He was sent out to find supplies for our people. I thought you said he was a warrior. Of course he is. How else could he carry out the raids to secure those supplies? What matters is we're still waiting for them. We can't live on prayers alone. He's back. How's that possible? I just gave you the job. And how do you know that? We came here together. Hmm. I don't like this at all. What's wrong? The poachers were supposed to tell me when he returned. I'll be sure to make my wishes clearer to them in the future. As for Ivan, I won't let him off so easily. Why's that? I suspect he's working with the enemy. Instead of looting their bodies, he's trading with them. And that's a crime? It is, and I can prove his treason. There have been no signs of struggle on any of the supplies he's brought back recently. Not one drop of blood. Nothing can only mean he can't have taken them by force. Is that all? You should know. You've spent enough time with him. So tell me, has he been trading with the enemy? I'm staying out of this. <laughs> As you wish. He'll tell me soon anyway. The Blood Cistern always extracts the truth from people. <laughs> These shards are for completing your task. You could have earned more if you'd answered my questions. There's nothing more you can do for me now. And take this. It'll clothe you better than those rags you're wearing. If Ivan owes you anything, you should go see him. Although he might not be in any state to settle his debts after his treatment. <laughs> so don't take too long. You never really cared about the supplies, did you? You just wanted Ivan back. Correct. I don't appreciate being used. Then you shouldn't have come here. Did you really think I'd trust a stranger with such a matter? Anyway, it's not like you're going away empty-handed. To show you just how grateful I am, I'll make sure Khan knows how useful you've been. Though it goes against all I believe in, I will support you joining our ranks.
What do you want? We don't let your kind in here. Pay or get out. Don't like outsiders, huh? Makes no difference to me where you're from. We're all worthless in the eyes of Ravak. So what do you want? What I want? Blood. Or sweat. What? That's what you can pay me in. So, which is it gonna be? Blood? You mean I have to kill someone? No. Just a duel. No killing. Against you? Yeah. It's that, or you pay in sweat. What does that mean? Work. So, what's it gonna be? Neither. I'm not that keen on getting into this place. Fine. You think that's enough? Good luck. I'll wipe the floor with those animals. You have strong. Talk back to me. Well, look what we have here. Just in time for our little party. Hmm, looks like this one's finished. But I'm not. So what do you think? Want to take his place? See you haven't changed. Can't say the same about you, idiot. Still wasting your life in that shithole? Not anymore. A lot's happened since then. What are you doing here anyway? Thought you were with the outlaws. Used to be. I'm done with those assholes. Berserkers are in charge at the fort now. To hell with that. Then there's Baxter up at the crater. The fucker wanted me to work my way up from the bottom. You believe that? My own people. Figure I might as well hang out with the crazies here. Looks like you got a good thing going. Hey, they're a bunch of violent psychos. Of course they love me. You know how it is. We both know how to land on our feet.
Still hanging out with that little tramp? What was her name? Kaya? Heard you two had a kid. Yeah, it's been, uh, interesting. Whatever. None of my business. What about your brother? Still in touch with him? Logan? Screw him. Ever since the Berserkers kicked him off the throne, he's just another asshole. Hangs around the coast these days. Still acting like he's a dupe, though. Murder, robbery, the huge. Who cares? I have other plans. Like what? The Morcons might be crazy, but at least they get right to it. Something needs doing, they get it done. No fucking around. Sounds like the perfect match. Not the smartest bunch, though. Could be taking over the world, but they'd rather hide down here. You ask me, they should have climbed out of this hole a long time ago. It's like they're scared shitless of everyone out there. What do you mean? What they need is an emissary. Someone to tell the other factions how it's gonna be. Since when do you care about other people? I used to care about you, didn't I, asshole? Or have you forgotten already? Things have changed. It's a whole new game. What kind of game? You been out there lately? There's giant towers all over the place. War, plagues, all kinds of shit. Of course, the Morcons have no idea what's going on. The odd vandal comes back from a raid with a scrap of information. It's not enough. We have to start talking to the other factions. Either that or we get slaughtered. I don't believe this. You want to be the Morcon Emissary? Open up diplomatic relations with the other factions? You think I'm just good for ripping out throats. This is about survival, man. Morcons know how to kill, but they don't have the brains for negotiation. Someone's got to step up. Might as well be me. Yeah, but I mean... What? Well, you're rude, aggressive, and never see anyone else's point of view. Oh yeah? Well, fuck you. Not exactly the best qualities for a diplomat. You wouldn't know diplomacy if it spit in your face. Are you Mr. Self-Control now? More like Mr. Fuck the entire world. You think a punch to the face is a fucking icebreaker. Okay, point taken. Damn right, so don't go lecturing me. I need people I can trust. I could really use someone like you. I'm listening. Renegades and anyone willing to fight the invaders in their towers are gathering at the Bastion of Caracas. Yeah, I heard. Why do you think I was telling you my plans? But first, you'd have to do something for me. What? I help you with your crazy plan. You help me with mine. Uh-huh. And just how much trouble am I getting into? No big deal. Just the other factions... Well, they kind of have issues with me. I need someone who knows how these assholes think. Someone who can get me in the door with them and have my back if things go south. Okay, then. I help you with your diplomatic mission. You join the fight at the Bastion. Deal. Okay. Let's see what group of freaks you put together at the Bastion. I bet it's a big old bunch of losers, drunks, and deadbeats. You'll fit right in. Guess I'll be seeing you. And quit staring at my ass! Well, so be it. True strength comes from resisting and enduring pain. They rob our government. You better have a good reason for interrupting my prayer. Who are you? This is what you're interrupting me for? 
I demand respect from everyone, including you. Just remember this. I am the mistress of the blood truck, witness to Ravok's mercy. You live or die at my command. You will be judged before me. Never forget that. But since you've already interrupted me, you might as well tell me again why you're here. Concept me. What does that mute want from me? You said I should work for you. You must see something in it, then. It's highly unusual for him to attend to a newcomer personally. Yeah. Hmm. You could clean the shrine. Or... Or what? I need someone neutral. Someone who doesn't believe in Rabak. Who can attend to a matter with fresh eyes. So what is it? Certain elements here in the grotto are trying to disrupt the balance. These individuals are extremely cautious. They would never reveal themselves to a Morcom. That sounds dangerous. You can determine just how dangerous once you find them. Take this amulet. It will draw them out. Show it around, but without being too obvious about it. Hopefully they will notice you. About the amulet. Who should I show it to? If I knew that, I wouldn't need you. Try it with someone like Dimitri or Marat at the gate. They see everything that goes on. Ghosta and his bouncer are usually well informed too. Or ask around at the cellar. What kind of people am I looking for? All you need to know is that they're a threat to the balance and our way of life. Where did you get this amulet? One of the gate guards, Marat, found it under a table down in the cellar. You can ask him about it yourself if you want. <laughs> 